switch. Hello, and welcome to Lightworks. This video is creating a project, part one of the Lightworks Quick Start Tutorials. In this video, you'll find out what project settings you need to get started. After double-clicking the Lightworks shortcut on the desktop, you'll see a progress bar, and Lightworks opens the project browser, which lists all the projects on the system. To set up a new project, select a frame rate for your project. If you're editing film shot at 24 frames per second, choose 24 frames per second. If you're editing material shot in PAL or CCAM countries, choose 25 frames per second. And if you're in an NTSC country, choose 30 frames per second. If you're unsure about the frame rate of your material, choose Auto. This will set up the project frame rate based on the first clip you import to Lightworks. If the clips that you import contain multiple frame rates, the Auto setting will create a 24 frame project. From here, you can choose any frame rate or frame size from the Video Output Settings menu. Give your project a name and click Create. We're taken into the project. The Import panel is already open in the middle of the screen. I'll show you how to import media files in the next video. For the moment, I want to show you how to choose global settings for the project. Click on the project name and the project panel appears. The Details tab on the project panel shows the location of the project on your computer. The panel has tabs for video settings, audio settings, film settings, the media locations that Lightworks uses, and also a background task list. What I want to do for the moment is set the video output setting for the project to 1080p at 25 frames per second. If you want to get the panel back, just click on the project name again. To get back to the project browser, click the exit icon on the top left hand side of the screen. The screen grab of the project in its last state is saved in the project browser. To leave Lightworks altogether, click on the red close button at the top right. Okay, that's all for part one. In the next video, we'll show you how to import media files into your project.